And let's wave hello. hello. And today we're going to do loop de loops. Right, that's what I've decided today's going to be. So, yeah. you can come and sit over here, okay? You can just sort of stand next to Daddy. Daddy can chill there. So, basically, what we've got, away you go. Out, out, out. Good girl. What we've got, okay, is a small piano, yeah? You can see this is many octaves. This is just a few octaves, that's a keyboard. okay? It's a keyboard, yeah, but it's still a small piano in a sense, okay? Yeah, it's kind of like a And we piano. plug this into the computer. Now, like I said, I know my computer's rubbish, but I've set it up and I've charged it up and I've wound it up and I've put some coal in it, so hopefully it will last for today. But what we've got, okay, coming out of these speakers is electric piano sounds, okay? Nothing fancy, just some electric piano, but we can take down the octave or up the octave and play the same key. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it in the middle for now. But when I'm doing different things like bass guitar, so you, you how deep do you think bass might be? Do you think it's really high or do you think it's really deep? Deep, because it's bass, right? So when we do bass, we take it down here. So you can see this says bass guitar. That's really low. So we can maybe do. Okay, so that mimics a bass. It's a bit electronic y. And then we can have hi hats. Now I'm not exactly sure which ones, but I'm going to guess. There you go. That's a hi hat kind of sound. So if you play the drums, do you know that one that goes there? Yeah, yeah. That's your hi hats, okay? And then the next stop, I'm not going to bother moving it down, but we're going to do them separately. You've got the snare. That's the snare drum sound, yeah? And in the next up, we've got the bass drum. That kind of thing, okay? So that's how we can get some drum sounds. And in lastly, and I think you'll probably appreciate this, um, probably more than anyone, Zach, and that is some synths. Yeah, and there's loads of synth stuff. You can see the list of synth stuff down there, okay? So. What is we're going to do, is garage band. Garage band, this yeah. is garage band, so, yes, garage yeah, band, because we are here in England, but yeah, garage band if you're American. Yeah, that's, that's what you've got open. All in the pronunciation. Yes, yeah, so this is garage band, yeah, okay, yeah. which is the free thing that comes yeah. loaded onto Apple computers, okay? Logic, which is what I'm going to get, is like garage band, garage band on steroids, okay? It's the real big proper version, but you have to pay extra for that. So, all I'm going to do, okay, is an eight bar loop, but. Eight bars is a lot for you guys. Well, okay. I have to play eight bars on the recorder. Cool. Stuff. However, when it's doing electric piano or possibly a normal piano or where it's a keyboard and a bass guitar and some hi hats and some snare drums and some bass drums and some synths, eight bars is a lot because there's a lot to think about. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and times eight. eight. Well, six times eight, Zach. Forty-two. 42, I'm not sure if that's correct as my timetable's got like 48, is it? Okay, we'll have to double check it. Okay, so okay. six times eight, so it's 48, okay, different kind of things if you double like, because me. you've got the bar times the thing. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna do it. We are gonna start off with one bar. One bar! We just start with one, okay? One's a good place to start. So, I'm gonna start with my hi-hats, okay? Hi-hats are a great place to start. And I'm gonna put the tempo at 60. Now later on we can always speed it up because it's MIDI and not a pre-recorded WAV file. We can speed it up, slow it down all we like because it's electronic versus an actual sound that's been made that the computer has to do some stuff to and it makes it all go weird, okay? So, hi-hats. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press record and I'm gonna play some hi-hats. Now, what am I playing? Hi-hats. Two, three. So what am I playing in terms of the count? Uh, are you playing, or oh, what is it, sixteenths? Sixteenths, how many count sixteenths? Well, one, one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Beautiful, and you're even harmonizing on it. Okay, so I've chosen, Sixteenths for my hi hats, just to start with, okay, and then for my snare drums, okay. I'm going to have my snare drums nice and simple, okay. You ready? Okay. 
Where am I playing my snare drums? Quarters. Quarters. So where am I playing them in terms of the bar? Um, In terms of the count, where am I playing them? What numbers do they match up one, with? Two, three, four. Bless you. One, two, three, four. So where do you hear those snare drums? You can ask Daddy. Daddy might know. Daddy? Two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Okay. So now we're going to move on to uh, the bass drums. Okay. And it's very good. Oftentimes when you're creating yeah, stuff like this, it's good to start with the drums. Okay, yeah. well it's just a loop thing because it gives you a good idea of how the whole kind of thing's gonna vibe. So we're gonna start with the drums. You don't have to, this is just where I'm starting, okay? So bass drum now. So where am I playing that bass drum? Um, oh, he's a genius, he's cutting in onto how it's supposed to work. Okay, so I've got six thieves on the hi hat, yeah? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a bass on the one, snare on the two, bass on the three, snare on the four, and then all of a sudden, you've got some air drums. Switch hands. Yeah? So I've got one bar of that. Now, let's play the bass guitar. And the choice you're gonna get is this. Everything's gonna be either all of the white notes from C to C, okay, or the black notes. Black, black, black notes black. sound super cool, okay? Black. We're gonna go with the black notes? Sweet. I was hoping you'd say that. So, all I'm gonna do, really, really simply, is play a bass guitar line for this one bar. You ready? Okay, so again we just quantize it all because if you come in even the tiniest little bit early it won't reflect on it. Oh, now I didn't want to do that did I? Because we took it out of that, let's put it back to 16. So it's going 1 E and A, 2 E and A, 3 E and A, 4 E and A, 1 E and A. So I'm playing the 1, the A of 1, the 3, the A of 3. So now, electric piano wise. It sounds a bit like uh when you say Yeah, one, one e, 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 e and a, two E and a, three E and a, like that, okay? So, so now, like I'm gonna play electric piano. And that was some horrendous timing right there as well. But it doesn't matter, because that's why we are doing it here. Okay, and this is how we start to layer things up and build things. So do you know when I've shown you your like your tracks? Wait, is this going to be sung? It could be anything. It's just oh, the, it's, we I see. Don't... It's just one bar. You're going to do your own one, okay? It's just one bar, and I'm literally just making it up as I go along, which is what you've been doing. It's the this is the most basic, basic example, okay, of what we're doing. So we're now going to have the synth lead as well, just for a bit of fun. Can you tell me, Zach, which notes I've been playing? So far. Can you tell me the notes? C. C what? Minor. That's C. C sharp. C sharp. That's D. That's sharp. D sharp. And then that's F and that's F sharp. There you go. Okay. So I've just been using C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp so I far. C. So, well, we've chosen to use the black notes, haven't we? Yeah. So these are going to be all the sharps. Or they would be all the flats if we're in a different key. But that would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C again. But these are C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. But you don't do piano yet, so don't worry. This is why I always ask Zach. Okay, so. But I do recorder. I know you do. Uh, you don't do sharp, you can do. So you ready? So what am I playing on that? One. Oh no, Dad. Apes. Apes. So I'm playing 16th on the hi hat, 
Two from the snare, one or three in the bass. Yeah? No. And I'm doing apes on that synth. How much were you playing? One and two and three and four. Yeah, how many and you one. Okay, so when you play the whole loop. It's nothing fancy, okay? Nothing fancy at all. But as long as you're going to get to eight bars. So let's take them all, okay? And let's copy them. Quite good single, single says. And then how many bars we got now? Eight. We got eight, how many? Nine. Two, we had one. We've copied two, that one. Two. Two. Okay. But we're going to make the second bar slightly different right. to the first. No Stand fighting. Here. Okay. Stand there. We're going to make the second bar slightly different to the first. How are we going to do that? What we're going to do in this second bar? Let's take the electric piano. We're going to add or we're going to remove? Zach, add or remove? Add. Add, you want to add? I thought you might want to add. So, Esme, what are we going to add and where are we going to add it? Bearing in mind, if we just solo this piano. It's already pretty full. It's already pretty full. But Zach wants to add. Where can we add and how can we add? On the one below the piano. So we're on the piano, we're staying on the piano. We can add another sound, another hit. So what we could do, for example, is take this, okay, and we can just simply play another one. So the second bar sounds slightly different to the first. Okay, just slightly different. I've not changed any of the rest of it. So when I take this off of solo, Yeah, it's just slightly different. Just very, very slightly different, okay? So we've got two bars. We take these two bars, we copy them, and we yeah, paste them. How many bars? bars? We've now got four bars. So, we're trying to get up to eight bars. We're going to try and get up to eight bars. We are going to change bar four, and we're going to change the bass drum. Esme, add or remove? Add. Good choice. Very nice. Because we've only got two bass drums in that whole entire bar. So if we're talking in terms of sixteenths, we've got well, sixteen. To hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So we've got sixteen possible places. Okay. And we've only got two being played, which leaves fourteen more possible places. There are way more possible places, but just in terms of quarters eight sixteenths, keeping it simple, we've only got two places being played. Yeah. And we've got fourteen places that we're not playing anything. So Zach. We've got the one and the three, okay? Out of the E and a, two E and a, E and a, four E and a, those are your 14 places left, where do you want to add a bass drum? So if it's the E, the and or the R, it's the one that belongs to that number. E. Of? The one, the two, the three or the four. They all sound good, just pick one. Three. The three. Ah, oh, see, I would have gone and added a one at the end, a two at the end, a three and a four e and a five e. Five e? There's five definitely e. no five e. So Daddy would have just filled up the whole entire thing with bass drums. Okay, cool. So we'll come back to Daddy for the end bit, and maybe that'll work. For so we've just added the e of three. So you can see it here. It's coming up. It's a one, two. That's that. Okay, cool. So we have four bars, yeah? We copy those four bars. We paste those four bars. How, ma how many bars do we have now? Eight. Eight bars. We are going to pick the snare drum. Are we going to add or remove? Remove this time. Remove? Interesting. Okay. So we've got this very final bar here. Which one are we going to remove? We're going to remove the two or the four. There's me, two or the four. Take a pick, 50-50, two or four. 
Do a four, do a four, do a four, do a four. You're gonna remove the two. Interesting choice. It's gonna sound weird, but never mind. And then Daddy wanted to add a load of bass drums, so we're also just gonna add in a whole bunch of bass drums, okay? Daddy. Well, that's what he fancied. So we're gonna see how messy this sounds now. Hit the club. We're in the club. Hold on, let's just remove that one and then just add in a better version of that. Oh, no, hello, never mind. Okay, so now, this is what kind of mess we've got. bass drums in a weird four eighth bar. Oh, that's, yeah, that's why it works in the eighth bar rather than the fourth bar. I think um, for first, like, if you go back to ever smaller ones. The smaller um, ones. As in, like... So you mean, on this very final one here, you're talking about the shorter ones versus yeah. the long ones. They're all exactly the same. I know, but like, sh short ones, um, I think the big ones, um, should have a different sound. Okay, so... To, like, make it build up. Okay, so basically what you're saying is we could change this second half of the bar yeah. to be a bit different. And that's cool, and that's something you can choose to do. But do you see how I've created an eight-bar loop? Okay? Did we start with eight bars? No. How many bars did we start with? Two. We started with one. We started with one. Then we added another one. And this. which which yeah. of the sounds did we start with? Um, Hi hats. Yeah? Hi hats. And then we had the snare. Like that. Okay? And then I did the bass drum. Okay, and then we added the other sounds in. Okay, and then what did we do with that one bar once we got the most basic one bar, which we decided is going to be all the black notes, even though when you put it on that, uh, it doesn't work quite as well. So we put a little. Okay, those are the notes we're going to use. Okay, all the sharps. So we've decided that, and then we took that one bar once we put in the electric piano and, and the synth and stuff, and we did what with that one bar? Uh, Double it, ten times it, a million times it. Double it. Double it to have two bars. Yeah. And then we changed just one tiny little thing on that second bar, correct? Yes. And then we took those two, we copied those, we pasted those, and then we had... Four. And we changed something in the fourth bar, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we added or removed, doesn't really matter what. And then we took those four, we copied, we pasted, we had then how many bars? Eight bars. Eight bars, and we changed two things about that final bar. We took away a snare drum, and, and then we look. added a bunch of bass drums, okay? So this is how we got to eight bars, and this is how we've managed to deal in really small baby steps, these bite-sized chunks, a whole bunch of different sounds. To get a loop. Now, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I'm going to double time it. Okay, what does that say up there, Zach? Can you read that? 60. 60 beats per minute. If there's 60 beats... 120. If there's 60 beats, that wasn't the question, but I like your enthusiasm. There's 60 beats in one minute. How often does each beat occur? Every second. Every second. So if we put 120... So if we go to 120... Half a second. Every half a second. Now we are getting somewhere. Are you ready? I think it sounds really messy. <laughs> so when, when it gets to this kind of speed, you want to remove as opposed to add. When it's slower, you can add versus remove, okay? Should we just take it to 240 just to be really silly? Yeah, exactly. So how... Um, a quarter each, it beats every quarter of a second. So how many beats do we get in one second? Four, which is equal to four beats is one bar. So this eight bar loop is gonna last how many seconds? Four seconds. No. 
Four beats is equal to one bar. Two. One bar is equal to one second. Two. And eight bars is equal to? Two eight seconds. seconds. There we go, we got there in the end. Well, that's called happy hardcore. <laughs> right, so. Uh, but it sounds nasty when you speed something like that, which is intended at 60. Yeah, but like right that. up. Dad's daddy likes like me with happy hardcore. <laughs> And it's I kind of like you dance that. until your hands fall off and your limbs fall off and you just end up flopping around on the floor like a fish. So, the answer, whoever gets the answer to this question... Yeah, gets Harry <laughs> <laughs> No. Whoever gets the answer to this question gets to go first. Now, toast is spelt T-O-A-S-T, -T, okay? But can you spell it? Yeah, it's I-T. Oh, he's a genius! Right, you get to choose. It's a riddle, can you spell it? I spelled yeah. toast for oh. you. It's okay. So... Because Zach said, are you smart than spell <laughs> it? Yeah. Spell it, and he got it straight away. And so, would you like to go said... first or second? What do First you or second? Think? One of you goes in there and sits and chills, probably watches something or scribbles, whatever, doesn't matter. And one of you gets to go first, one of you gets to go second. You get to choose because you've got the answer right. Five, four, first. First. Okay, cool. Okay, Esme, you can disappear in there, you can say hello to Mira. It's, it's ten past. That's fine. So, so if you split the time, it's because Zach normally what's it going to be like? Twenty-five ish minutes, twenty minutes. Zach normally cool. says Zach, smart. you're on here. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting a complete blank. No, you're going to be facing this, you wally brain. That's what? Do you, how do you? <laughs> oh my days. Right. So, can you reach it? Is it low enough but high enough at the same time? Yep. Yes, okay, cool. Can you hear me correctly? Yes. Marvellous. Yeah, I was just thinking about taking my hat off as well, actually. So, I've explained it briefly to you how it works. Okay, very, very simple. Uh, uh, excuse me. We're going to use the back notes. And you're going to use just one finger, okay? You don't need to use much. It's not an exercise in playing the piano. It's not an exercise in reading music. It's purely a creative exercise, okay? Loop-de-loops is what I've decided to call it, but it's just creating loops. So we're gonna start with hi-hats. Your hi-hats are these three notes here, okay? So I'm gonna take it back down to 60. Okay, stop pressing stuff for a second, because sometimes it wigs stuff out. There we go. Right, so we're going to start with the hi-hats, okay? And it's going to go on at 60. So it's going to give you one bar, so I'm going to count you in. And then you're just going to play one bar, okay? And we can always quantize it, we can always rejig it slightly, but here is your bar. You ready? Two, three, four. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just remove that. And let's quantize that to quarters. That's what you got for the hi-hat. So you decided to just play quarter notes. Just one, two, three, and four. Snare drum wise, that's a snare. That's also a snare. And that's also a snare sound. <laughs> you don't have to use them all. That's not the rule here to use. You want to use them all. Okay, cool. So snare drum wise, okay, so there's your three. Okay, you ready? Two, three. So let's quantize that to sixteenths. That's what we've got so far. That fares a bit longer than that. Doesn't matter. It's got nothing to do with anything. It only matters when it's elongated when you can hold a note. So for example, can I hold that sound? No. No. A clap, like a drum, yeah, hit a drum, bap! That's it, it's done. Okay. Can I hold this note? No. Yes. Yes. So that matters. Uh, okay. That matters if it's long. So that would be longer if it was on bass. It's like. That's how it'd be if it was bass. So it's going to matter now. Okay. In a minute when we play like that. So bass drum wise. There's your bass drum. It's your only bass drum. 
No, that's your only bass drum. That's not a bass drum. Almost sounds like a cricket, doesn't it? Okay, that's your only bass drum. You only get one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Two, three. So what you get. Okay, so let's quantize that. And that's what you've got for a drum loop so far. You happy with that? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. So next up, do you want to go for electric piano, synth, or bass guitar? Le synth. Synth. Okay, so. <laughs> Choose which one there. Uh, for now, we're just going to keep it this particular one because there's so many to choose from. You'll spend all your time trying to choose one. Okay, happy with that? So, two, three, four. Cool. So, mm, 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 let's just put it at sixteenths for now. Okay, so I'm slightly out. When they're too uh, close together, say so it's a little bit of a wonky take. So, does it matter that that one's longer now? Does it last longer? Yeah, do you want it that long or do you want it shorter like the rest? Short. Okay. So that again is one of those kind of things that you can figure out and you can decide. Okay, so. Are you happy, are you happy with that? Yeah, so it's your one bar. Bass guitar. Bass guitar is going to be somewhere down here. But I'd recommend it's very similar to the synth. No, nope, only the back notes, remember? One finger at a time. Okay, it's gonna be interesting to see how that sounds, but two, three, four. Okay, let's do a retake on that one. Two, three, Easy as that. Now it's going to start sounding messier when these notes clash. Okay. Do you want to add the piano to it as well? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I recommend you do the piano somewhere higher up. And so what I'll do is I'll move the octave up. So you can still do it in the middle, but it sounds only doing the black notes. Remember? Okay. I wouldn't recommend doing too much because okay. it's all going to clash and sound a bit gnarly. You ready? Okay, so in your mind, how did you want that to be? Did you want it to be like one E and two no. E and? Uh, so one E and two E and three E and four E and. Just try it again. Okay, there's quite a bit of um, overlap with these things. So two, three, four. <laughs> Cool. So it's very. Uh, do you want to redo it? No. No. Okay. Um, it's, it's just my last one there. Okay. So, so let's just. Uh, okay. Two seconds. Let's quantize this. No. Okay. Hold on. In fact, you know what? You're gonna have to do it again because I know what it's done. This is why I am not very good at this thing. Two. Three. Cool. So it's very 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and heavy at the moment, isn't it? Everything's kind of going along that same same thing. Does it make it sound nice? Uh, it's up to you what you think sounds nice. At the end of the day, it's your loop, isn't it?
That's your one bar loop. Now, I'm gonna give you a choice. Do you wanna remove any elements of any things or any things entirely? Uh, that. That. No. So the piano, the electric piano sound, the thing you just did. That, I want apes. That, I want. No, no, no. You can't get to choose all of it. You get to choose one thing. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. We haven't got forever. We've got 20 minutes. Okay? So you want that to be apes. So it's currently 1E e and, 2E e and, 3E e and, 4E e and. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to. You want to remove the E or do you want to change the whole thing completely? I want to change that to apes. We can't. There's. Too, there's, there's there's too many hits to be, for it to be apes. There's 12 hits there. We can't change it to apes because there's 12 of them. We can't make it ape. So it's currently 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and. I can remove all of the E's, so it's just 1 yes. and. You want to just do that, yeah? So if I remove all the E's... Sounds like that. Yeah? yeah. Is that what you wanted to do? Now, this is all just creative stuff. There's no right or wrong answers of any of it, okay? You just want it to sound nice. You want it to sound appealing to you. Does that sound appealing to you? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I like your one better. Well, my one was actually a, a kind of um, a collaboration to anyway. Um, but listen to my one. Well, it, was, it was our one, wasn't it? It wasn't necessarily just my one. I would have done something very, very differently. Um, but I was giving you guys choices so you could see... <laughs> Less going on in mine. I want to. Um, I want to put. Um, I want that bit. You want that bit? Yeah. How does that bit go? How does that bit sound? So you want to redo the electric piano completely? Yeah, but can, can you do that bit? Nope. Huh? It's not for me to do, How it's for do you to you do. How do you do it? How do you do it? Well, if you listen to what I'm playing, let's just solo it. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so. In that whole bar, how many notes are being played? Now, let's go back to your bar for a second. In your bar. Okay, Much busier. That, to you want to change it, okay. More busy or less busy? Less. Less busy, you want to do less, okay, cool. So, let's just have it without the rest of the sounds, just for a second, make it a bit easier for you, yeah? You ready? So he's going to solo it. Whatever you play is the only thing you're going to hear. Two, three, four. Oh, that's it, that's what you get. Yeah, it's only one bar. Happy with that? Yeah. It's quite a lot going on, still. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So, we're gonna take that one bar and we're gonna paste that out. So we now have how many bars? Two. Two. Now. We have three. No. No. Because we're trying to get to eight. We can't get to eight using threes, can we? No. If we're trying to get to nine or twelve, we could use threes, right? We're trying to get to eight. So here's your two bar loop now. Cool. Now. Electric piano, bass guitar, hi-hat, snare drum, bass drum, or eight uh, 80s sync lead as in synthesizer, which one do you want to pick to alter? You can add or remove something from any of them. Remove. Okay, but so which one are you going to pick? And then what do you want to remove from it? Which one's more busiest? Okay, well, let's have a look. This is a... That's what the synth is doing. Okay, bass drum. Put that in the snare. And we put that in the hi hats. Do you want to change any of that? I want to 
want to change synths. You want to change the synth, okay. So, do you want to do a whole that. retake of the synth? It'll be fun. Uh, do you want to do a whole retake of the synth? Or yes, do you, a whole retake. You want to do a whole retake. So the whole the second bar is going to be completely different to the first bar, yeah? Sorry. Okay, cool. So. We're just going to do the synth on its own. We're going to solo the synth. Three, four. That was really good timing on that, mate. Really good timing. I'm getting rid of that. Oh, we want to get rid of that altogether. So now we want to make that first bar very similar. Or that second bar, let's say. Similar to the second. So we haven't actually removed anything now. What we've done. So that's just the synth on its own. it's mixed either none of it's mixed at all mixing is a, is a big part of it happy with that yeah okay so we're going to double that we're taking these two bars copying the two bars and we're pasting them out to how many bars four four bars right so now we have the choice of the electric piano the bass guitar the hi-hats the snare drum the bass drum the uh synth what are we going to alter and how are we going to alter it what do you mean change add remove which one are you going to pick and how are you going to change it to alter is to change something. I really want to change anything. So you want to have that whole four bars? That's Say again? Have that be four of my songs? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so this is four bars. You don't want to change any of that four. No. Completely happy with that four. So we take that four and then we are going to... Copy and paste that out to how many bars? How many bars? Uh, you got four, we've doubled it. There you go. Eight. There you go. Three, eight. two, eight. So now we've got our eight bar loop. Do you want the first two bars to be the same as the next two bars and those first set of two to be the same as the second set of two? So basically it's a two bar loop. Yeah. You only want a two bar loop. Wait, can I just play all the way through? In fact, it just sounds like a one-bar loop right now. And how do you want to As change it? Like, well, I didn't really last one, like... So on that, just that final bar. Uh -huh. Okay, so you want to go for the synth, and that final bar you want to change it to one e and two e and three e and. Okay. okay. So you're only going to hear the synth. Two, three, four. Way too fast, you're gonna try that again in time. Don't look at this, listen to the sounds. Too slow that time, way too slow. Okay, here's the thing. So it's gonna go, ready? But if you wanna hold it, hold it. I'm gonna hold that for end. Cool. Two, three, four. There you go, nice. That was much, much better timing. So we've got one E and, two E and, three E and. Okay, so your final two. Yeah, I'm just playing you how the synth sounds. You have the synth? Okay.
there's your loot. How now, I'm going to play mine. Well, again, it wasn't mine. Do you want me to do one? Oh, yeah, I want you to do one. Okay, hold on then. I'm just going to do a straight eight bars, okay? Just because it's going to be way easier for me to do a straight eight bars. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. So. Um, I'm just going to do for your breathe easy or cool. whatever you want. No, my breathe easy is probably going to be another ballad. What do you mean, ballad? Ballad? Oh, I haven't seen you in your ballads, have I? Um, just something with way less of this kind of stuff. Uh, right, I'm going to do something a little bit different, but don't worry about it, okay? But I'm just going to do it really quickly. Oh, ha, 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 brilliant. I'm on the wrong one. Uh, what? That should be all the same thing. Huh. Should be big room. Hi, hats. No, but that's... Ah, oh, I'll tell you why. We were on the octave up, weren't we? That's why. All these little things. Okay, here we go. Of course I am. But I'm just doing it in a really quick way. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the bass. Nah, that's... Take that, I'm going to quantize that, I'm going to loop it. Um, and now we can just press loop. The reason why I do copy is because if we want to change anything, it's much easier to do. I'm going to leave the bass as it is. Keys. Just some random nonsense there. That's what we've got. So we've got so far, pretty sparse, okay? And then let's just do the synth. Um, let's do the synth up here. So all of that was just made up as I went along, just the same as you did. Now, I haven't got three separate things because I did all the drums in one, okay? And then here's our... So, like I just said, the hi-hats and the snare are all in here. Can you hear them all? So that's just 
a very, very, very quick random eight bar loop. So here's yours. <laughs> Just did. I knew you was going to ask that, so that was going to be the next one we do, okay? So. Much more simple, isn't it? But it's all the same sounds. You haven't changed any of the sounds, they're all the same. I was just about to say, that's a perfect bit of timing as well. Marvellous. So, Esme's turn now. Zach, you can disappear into the other room. Esme, you can, in fact, you will get this chair. Go on, chop, 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 chop. Yay. I'm going to play your pieces for you, okay? Just to make it easy, because I know you don't play the piano. So you're going to be the decision maker. You get to sit in the executive chair. Look at yourself, look. Looking all boss, okay? So, you're going to get to sit in that chair and I'm going to do the pieces, if that's cool with you, just to save on a bit of time. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. So, should we start with hi-hats? Yeah. In terms of hi-hats, what do we want to hear? Um... So these are our sounds. Okay, we're thinking quarters, eighths or sixteenths. So we've like a one, two, three, I think Four, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Two, three, four. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. One. Cool. Easy as that. Oh yeah. Cool. Do. I thought I'd, I knew I'd done something stupid. Right. So let's. Why did you? Why did you say stupid? Stupid. It's a stupid way of saying stupid, isn't it? Oh, stupid. <laughs> so you can't even say your s's correctly. So, uh, let's just chop that. Okay, so, we have 16th on the hi-hat. Snare drum. What are you thinking for the snare? Eight. Yeah? Or no? So we can have that in the last bar, for example. Yay. Eights on the snare sounds quite a lot, though. I mean, you can have it if you want. It's up to you. No. No? What do you want on the, on the snare? Mm. What do you think I should do? Well, generally speaking, the snare goes on the two and the four. But do you want it as a hand clap? Or you can have it as a... Those are your... I want to do it like that. Hand clap. Yeah? No, I'm like going... Kind of how Zach had his. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. <laughs> okay. So you've got like a little option there, basically, of, of your snares. We can change them. Yeah. Okay. Bass drum wise, we can give it super simple and just have a bass on the one if you wanted. We can have it on. You can have it wherever you want. But here's what we got. So if we just have it on the one. Um, I want to, um, one, one and four. Okay, one, 
and in three. So that's what I'm doing now, yeah? So one, two, three, and a three, four, and a one, yeah? So the one and the three, two, three, four, a one, back, three, back, back, boom! It almost would have been easier to draw it in, to be fair, but never mind. So we've got those going. So this is our loop so far. Happy with that? Yeah? Right, do you want to do the bass guitar, the electric piano, or the synth? Electric. <laughs> electric piano. Okay, so, do you want just one note at a time, or do you want a few notes? What does Zach have? Zach had uh, two and then one on his, so his was this. So we can just loop that. That sounds good. So here you went, something like. I'm gonna say it like that, okay. Don't exactly know what he played or where he played it, but it's that kind of feel. So. Wait, did he play all of it? He played his own stuff, but he plays piano, doesn't he? Yeah. So it's easier for him to play the notes. That's I why I'm playing. Play Ah, but that can't be midi can it? You don't have a MIDI recorder with like a USB coming out to go to the computer. No, they don't do it, I'm pretty sure. Um, so you want to sound like a... Mummy's got a fridge. You can have it higher up. So if we're playing it... Or we could have... One, yeah, two, three, four. Yeah, and it's quantized that. So it's all in. Can do that. Bass guitar or synth? Bass guitar. Bass guitar, okay. So bass guitar, we're a bit low, maybe. So if it was to follow what the piano did. Sorry. Yeah, follow what the piano did. Follow what the piano did. Okay, so we'll have it down here instead, yeah? Like that? Now, what might sound really cool. Oh, yeah. hello. Is um because obviously there's quite a lot going on now, we can remove stuff. Okay, removing stuff sounds cool later. Okay. Do you want the synth in or are you happy? Synth. Do you want the synth as well? And how do you want the synth? Do you want it like super busy or do you want it quite sparse? What? Sparse means like kind of just a, a held did note, Zach for example. Synth? Zach had synths, yeah. Zach's synths um started really complicated, then he changed it. Okay, but this isn't about Zach, this is about you. What do you like the sound of? Okay, so for example, we can just have like. We're drawing it up so we can have it like. Third one, you want it higher up. Okay, cool. So, we're going to take those, and it will sound messy, okay, because there's a lot going on, and we're just simply learning uh, how to create stuff, okay, so now we've got two bars. We can also turn this down a bit. Yeah, like that, happy with that? Okay, so in that second bar, what do you want to change? <clears throat> you don't have to change anything. We can double it to four and then change the fourth. But you want to change anything at all from that second bar? No? So you're going to take the whole lot. We're just going to double that. So one and two, three and almost four. We're I going to change to, something in the I, fourth bar. I want to put um, Daddy's idea in. What's Daddy's idea? Of, like building up the bass drums? Uh, yeah. How, say that for the eighth bar. Okay. Eighth. Or, or... 
We can also do your snare drum idea. Snare drum. Yeah. So how about we change the bass drums in the fourth bar? And then we can change the snare drums in the eighth bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you look into the thing like, oh, maybe there's going to be some confirmation up there in the camera. So let's just take a look at this bass drum in the fourth bar. Where have we got our bass drums? We've got our bass drums on the one and the three currently, haven't we? What do you want to add to that? So we can add like the two and the four, so it becomes one, two, three, four. So I'll just show you what it will sound like uh, if we add in a two and a four. Whoa, and I fall off. Like that. Okay, yeah. yeah? Cool. Now, do you want to keep that one, two, three, and four running through the next bunch of bars? Yeah. Do you want it or you want it? Okay, because I think that would sound pretty cool if you did like that, okay? Yeah. So let's take this bar. So it only has four bars, um, five bars with uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, they're just. Got them. Oh, hold on, there we go. Let's try that. Ooh. And then. Fair enough. Do you know what 12 is in Spanish? Uh, I used to do Spanish, so in theory, yes. Hold on. Um, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, cool. So here's what we've got. <laughs> Those bass drums. Let me just try that again. Oh, I know what I've done. Like a Wally brain. Like an absolute Wally brain. Never mind. <laughs> I've doubled up. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's fine because that's merry. So now, if we just start it uh, at bar five. <laughs> change these snare drums right up yeah do you want to change the snare drums in the eighth bar yeah so for example let's just play this final four something like that yeah you don't have to yeah you want that okay cool right let's see if i can Play that in. Oh, oh we hey, don't want to do that. See? So you've got the eighth notes. One. Like that. Okay? It's actually sixteenths uh, and thirty second notes, which is pretty cool. And that's a very um, dancey kind of thing to have. I want to sound it up and um, the seconds. You want to do the what, the what? Turn up the second like you did. Turn up the second. Oh, you want to turn up the speed, the tempo. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we can do that. Right, so here's what we got. So, should we double time it? Yeah. Should we take it from 60 to 120? Now, obviously, that's a huge leap. But massive let, leap. But let's see what it's on, like, because then um, we might, I might like it more than better. You ready? Yeah. 
What do you reckon? I mean, 120 is quite like quite mad. Do you want to take it down to 90? Should we see what it sounds like at 90? Yeah, but I like it at 120. You like it at 120? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 70. Sounds a bit better. Sounds a bit better? Okay, cool. So, that's what we've got, right? That's what we've got for your loop. So, I did uh, this loop in the middle. This is Zach's loop. So, Zach, do you want to come in and hear your loop? Zach? Do you want to come in and you can listen to all the loops? And Daddy can as well if he's not too busy, but he doesn't have to. Cool. So I'll play you the one we started with. Okay, this is what we started with. This is at 90 now. Okay, so I've changed the tempo. This is what we kind of all collaborate on. This is possibly the most sparse one. Yeah, can you share the seat without hitting each other? What do you reckon, yeah? Cool. Go so that was the first one we did. Okay. Don't argue or you'll both be sat on the floor. No. Right, you ready? So this is Zach's one. You ready for Zach's one? Yeah. I've changed the tempo from 60 to 90. Busier. Cool, so that was Zach's one. And then this is the one I just did kind of. And bars one to four are very different to four to eight because of the drums. One. Oh, you want that thing at the end? Okay, cool. So. One uh, one cool thing we can do with all of these, okay. So let's just go back I to like this. Mine really. You like yours, okay, cool. I so like, I like mine. Uh, ben, pick a pick a voice. So these are all voices, yeah. The uh, the synth or the bass drum, hi hat, whatever. These are all different voices. Pick a voice. Synth. Synth. Oh. Okay, hold on. What is I think that is our best option for a synth. Okay, so we're going to okay. take this synth. And make it into a new one. We're going to make a whole new loop. It's the beauty of loops, okay? So. But well, you want to keep mine to the way. We haven't changed yours! We are making a whole new one, which is going what to be Daddy's one, mine? okay? What about mine? We are taking the first one, okay? That, this is Daddy's loop, but we're just making it really super quick. Uh, pick the next voice. Bass. Bass, okay. Bass guitar, bass drum. Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Do you want to take the bass guitar from the first loop, which is this? No. No? Do you want to take it from the second loop, which is? Yeah. You want to take it from that? Yeah. Okay, so we've got Zach's bass. Okay, it's going to be interesting how they blend together. I have no idea because they won't be in the... Uh, they're all using the black notes, but they're not necessarily starting in the same kit. Okay, so thus far then, we have this. Oh, hold on. Okay, so let's just solo these two. Happy with that? Want to change your mind? No, fine with that. Happy with that? Cool. Okay, next voice. Oh, static on the phone. Uh, hi hat. Hi hats. Okay, so hi hats wise, we've got. Let's just take the loops off, and I will give you a quick thing of the hi hat. So hi hats wise, we've got this one, which is Esme's sixteenths. Yeah. Same as the first, that was all 16ths yeah. as well. This is Axe. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be 16ths of some kind. Esme's one. Esme's one. Okay, so Esme's hi hats. Okay, and paste those in. Okay, next voice. Uh, snare. Okay, so snare drum wise, we have the first set of snares. Which is just the two and the four. 
Zack Snares. Yeah. Very busy, these ones. Yeah. Okay. Cool stuff. Yes. Bass. Drum. Okay, bass drum. Esme's so, one because it builds at the end. Esme's bass drum. Uh, Esme's snare drum is built at the end. Your bass drum is built at the end uh, that you chose mine? at the beginning. Oh, yeah, going, going my side, so these first set of bass drums oh, here. Yeah. So that's the one I got you to choose. Okay. Right, and then we've got our electric piano. We've got electric piano. Right. So electric piano wise, the very first one. Right. Hold on. No. Okay, Zach's one. No. And the third one was my one. And it got a lot busier in the second half. And then Esme's one. Yeah, that one. That one. Okay, cool. So there's Esme's one. I don't know what it's going to sound like all together at the moment, though, do we? It's gonna be a bit of a mishmash, and that's the whole point. This is how we create new things. So this is Daddy's Loop, chosen from the existing loops. Are we ready? So all the way through, this is where we started today, okay? Just creating this first one all together, just making a few choices of whether to add or whether to remove, okay? Starting with just one bar, one voice, and then adding and building, okay? This is Zach's one. And then we have a one bar That's drop before one. my one comes back in. Just say this is the best one. The best one is it, okay, cool. That's the beauty of it. Music is completely subjective. Everyone gets to choose what they prefer. I think. And then we've got a one bar drop. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of like a chill one. And it's building up. And we have one bar before it goes into Esme's one. Can't get a drink and in your back. Hanging again before the final loop. Daddy's loop. It's a mishmash of all of them. Can we put them all together, all over the top of each other, or just one after another after another? Yeah, easy. Just in case we're removing the space. But obviously I've left space so we can tell which one's which. So the beautiful thing about that is when we've got a lot of stuff, it's actually way easier and nicer to actually just stop removing, excuse me, removing things, okay? And it can leave I a lot more space. I that we've all done it in the same order. How do you mean? Like me and Zach, electric. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's just the way I've set it up. So, but that's the work that we've done today, okay? Have you got any questions on what we've done? Don't get me wrong, okay? We are going to repeat all of this stuff so you don't have to, like, remember everything we've done. Can be for my song? If I'm going Absolutely. I will save this. Okay. I'm going to do a song called I Do. Cool. Okay, but that's all coming up. Okay, we'll do all that. Well, you've got 12 whole songs that you want to do. I think you've done, what, four or five so far? You've done three now. Cool. But that's got nothing to do with this. Have you got any questions on what we've done today? You know, for is that anything what we've done today, or is that something completely different? Completely different. Completely different. I can see Daddy looking at his watch, so you guys have got to go and get your dinner. We have to go and get dinner. <gasps> yes, yeah, it's marvellous. What did we say to Uncle Chris? Thank you. No worries at all. But are you going to wave goodbye?
See ya. <laughs> Lazy. Lazy.